already confused, a little bit dizzy. Right, take a break. Do you want to do this? That's it. Ooh, High School Musical. Yeah. Hi, Hi friends! Guys. Welcome back to our channel. Our channel. Yes. With the lovely Ricardo. Am I lovely? Yes. So English. And and the beautiful coral. Yeah. A bella gorella. <laughs> Since we made a video about how to be Italian, we thought about uh, let's teach them how to be English. Yes! Uh, Since we have. We all love the English people. Yeah, and we have a pretty English woman here, so we can yes. use her and learn how to be a proper British person. <laughs> person. Okay, so Coro is going to teach us. The first thing that I would say that English people do a lot is we say lovely. Okay, easy. Can do yeah. that. So you want to go to England and say, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Sarcastic or not sarcastic? You can say, that's lovely. How do you make lovely sarcastic sound sarcastic? Um, because that's another okay. thing, they are very sarcastic most of the time, so you don't understand if they're being <laughs> serious or not. And you're like, oh, which one is it? Are you, are you kidding me, or are you actually believing me, or what? Yeah. Sometimes it could be if some you're trying to be polite, but you don't know what else to say to somebody. So, I don't know, there's not really sarcasm, but it's like just trying to be nice. So, if somebody gives you something and you don't know if you like it or not. And, or you just don't like it, but you don't want to be mean and tell me you don't like it. You go, oh, thank you, it's lovely. So how do I understand if you, you actually don't. liked it or not? You, you don't. don't. No, you've got no idea. So. I guess the face kind of tells you, but most of the time people smile when they say it. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, thank you. Oh, yeah. I Sometimes can be genuine, though. Yeah. You know, I say it and... I have to say, from one point of view, it's good, so at least you're always nice to mm -hmm. people. But from the other point of view, I never know if you actually liked my presence. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next one is we queue. We don't jump the line, we stand in that line. If we are waiting to get on the bus and we see there's people already stood there, we go and stand behind that person. We don't push in front of that person because they were there first. So you have to be polite. Yeah, but go bad. what I would think is like that person is too slow, so I'm gonna <laughs> go in the front. Do I need mustache to be English? No, I would think that would be Italian. Oh, like that's a Mario and Luigi. No, but that's a stereotype of English people. The British oh, really? one has got like nice mustache, small oh. and thin. I didn't know that. I'm British. I thought that would be French. Sure, it's not French. Also, but what yeah. I'm talking about is. Okay, whatever. Another thing that English people tend to do is... Okay, so let's forget the whole Brexit thing for now. We're still in Europe, okay? For a little bit. Yeah, we don't know how long. At least another year. But um, we talk about Europe as in as if we're not in Europe. So if somebody isn't English and they're wearing like... Okay, say if Ricardo was to go to England and he looked like an Italian. They'd be like, oh, he's dressed very European. <laughs> But it's like, oh, we are in Europe. Still uh, in Europe. Okay. <laughs> so Ricardo would be a European, and the English people would not be yeah. European. They've got their own cloud, their own land, yeah. their own world. It's a bubble. Bubble, big bubble. Talk about the weather. We always talk about the weather. Actually, I was at uh, teaching the other day at school, and there's this new lady who I'd never seen before. And she was a teacher too, and we actually started talking about the weather. So that is weird though, because you know, talking about English people, the weather is always the same every day. It so isn't. yeah, so no, what do you it changes talk about? because it goes sunny, hot, rainy, windy, cloudy. So you've got to talk about the change of the weather. That's like just where like in five seconds actually. Yeah, <laughs> it can. Because like if you're you're here, why can you talk? It's nothing to talk about the weather. It's sunny all day. Yeah, so what's the point? <laughs> Boring. We eat baked beans and marmite. Mm, I miss that. Yum. Do you like marmite? Yeah, we kind of like marmite now. <laughs> baked beans? Do you like baked beans? Yes, I love them. Yeah. I miss everything. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back in England. <laughs> uh, we have toast. 
Marmite. Well, toast, butter, Marmite, baked beans, dinner done. Cheese on top. Cheddar cheese. Yeah, it's hungry. Marmite, Very you love good. it or you hate it? I love it. Do you love it? Yeah. We love Not Marmite. too much. Like, no. Coral puts like <laughs> a world big amount of that. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. Remember that time I put a thin layer and you put like the biggest layer ever? Did I? Yeah, and you're like, wow, this is strong. I was like, how much did you put on? And you were like, this much. And I was like, yeah, that's why. Okay, maybe that's <laughs> me, not coral. Yeah. But you didn't realise that you can't put that much Marmite on because it is a bit of a killer. <laughs> yeah, but it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. Know what Yorkshire puddings are. We basically have them with Sunday lunch. They're just yummy. Just really good. Yeah. Seriously. Gravy. <gasps> gravy in them. Coral, you're making me hungry. <laughs> and I want to diet. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the last point would be that English people wear whatever they want, whatever the weather. Oh, which is horrible. I mean, like right now, people would be in shorts. It's like, I think we've got to 20, it's been the highest we've got over here, 20 degrees. And people in this weather in England, we walk around in shorts. I would be one of them also, because that is our summer. But now, here I'm not in shorts, I'm in jeans. That is so weird. But so you wear short sleeves anyway, even if it's cold. I am Ricardo. So. It's totally different. <laughs> you need to bring a coat with you everywhere as well. That's a or must. An umbrella. That's a must. Definitely. Don't rely on the weather forecast either, because if it says it's going to be cloudy and no rain, it's probably going to be cloudy with rain. Yeah. So. I still remember one day I was in Scotland, um, which is part of the UK. Not England. <laughs> Some people say that it's England, but it's not. No, it's not at all. Uh, but I was there, and it seriously in the same day we had snow, wind, rain, and sun. Really? The same oh my day. Goodness. It was winter, and it was crazy. Even when it was the sun, it was still cold. But it was crazy to see the clouds going so fast. They go super quick. Like you go, you must have like really strong wind. <laughs> Because it goes like, yeah, snow, two seconds after rain, whoa, <laughs> and raining sun, what the, oh my goodness, it's crazy. <laughs> of course there are more things that English people do, but we're going to leave it here for now, um, so you can learn, get yeah. it in your brain, and become an English person if you want to. Yeah, and we'll make another video definitely in the future if you would like, yeah. and we'll make a carry on. So you will learn new things to become a British person. Uh, <laughs> goodbye guys. Goodbye friends. See Remember you later. To subscribe, yes. share with your friends and like our videos if you like them. Please. <laughs> goodbye. Bye.